Lesson 11 for December 7 through 13, Backslidden People, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sabbath afternoon, December 7. Before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, once again we thank you for your word and what it teaches us, what it shows us about you and about your love and your compassion and your grace, and also about the salvation that you offer, and also about the hope we have for the future. And this week, as we look at what happened to people who were backslidden and how your grace is so magnanimous, we pray that your Spirit will guide us and bless us. May your Word jump out at us and show us what you are really like. And may we come to walk with you day by day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory text this week is Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 22. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should go and guard the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. Let's read that again, Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 22. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves, and that they should go and guard the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your mercy. In the interim between chapters 12 and 13, Nehemiah returns to Babylon. Though we don't know how long he was gone, when he returned, probably 430 to 425 BC, the people were backsliding. Though they had covenanted with God on these matters, first, not to intermarry with idolaters, second, to observe the Sabbath carefully, and third, to take care of the temple and its personnel by tithes and offerings, and we read about that in Nehemiah chapter 10, they had violated all three of these promises. By the time Nehemiah returned, he found them very lax in their devotion to God. The people had stopped returning tithes and offerings, begun using temple rooms for other purposes, ceased keeping the Sabbath properly, and even returned to intermarriage with the nations around them. Worst of all, it was the leadership whom he had left behind that contributed to the decline in the Israelites' relationship with God. It is not surprising that Nehemiah was devastated when he discovered how much had changed. However, Instead of accepting it, once again, as his character demanded, he acted for God's glory. This week's lesson has been read by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. It is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department, and through the services of Christian Services for the Blind. A video of this podcast also occurs on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.